Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts. I'm working on a marine mercarb carburetor, and uh, I want to uh, explain to you about how the power circuit works on this thing. As you uh, rev up the engine, uh, push your throttle forward, uh, you'll need uh, more fuel, and that's what the power circuit does. As you gain speed, uh, the power jet is opened up, allowing more fuel into the carburetor. We have quite a bit of technical information on this carburetor. Uh, if you just visit our website, mikescarb.com, that's mikescarb.com. You get to the website, upper right hand corner, technical link, and then uh, follow it down to uh, the type of carburetor and then uh, down to mercarb, and there you go. Okay, so, oops, forgot to take off this one lever. Now there's a few different types of mer carbs. Come on. There we go. Okay. A few different types of mer carbs, but uh, in general, the uh, They use the same power system. Okay, so this had fallen out. It's actually staked down. Uh, you put it in there and uh, stake it, get you a chisel, not a screwdriver, I don't have a chisel in front of me, and, and stake it in a couple of places just to keep it in there. And uh, you can see this one's bent. It's got to be straight. Um, these aren't available, but as I'm talking to you, we're thinking about getting some of these made. But um, don't get your hopes up until it happens. All right, so if it's in there and you need to, now these need to be very loose, okay? Very loose. Now there is a clean out hole right here, or a relief hole I should say. Um, spray some silicone spray lubricant in there of any brand and uh, move it up and down, that'll kind of lubricate it. But if it's frozen, um, what you do is uh, you can heat it up out here to get it out, and be careful these break off really easy, that the uh, pin here. And you flick it like that, you just flick it, keep flicking it. And uh, it'll break the, uh, the uh, seal right here. And that gets it out and you can clean up real good, buff this off in a buffer, and uh, clean out the hole with uh, some um, soft cloth. So that's the piston. And down here is the uh, jet. Now our kits include a new jet at this point. That may not always be the case. Okay, there is a gasket that goes on it. But here's the pin. That has to be straight. And you see as the pin's pushed down, the pin comes out the other end and it allows extra fuel to go from the fuel bowl down to the main jet. Okay, so how does it work? Now, uh, this is all brass. So, uh, if you don't happen to have a new one, clean it up real good, you'll probably be okay. Now, at idle, you have full vacuum to here. Okay? And that pin is pulled down like that. And that allows this pin to be up and it cuts off the fuel flow. Okay? As 
you build speed, the vacuum drops, and the spring here makes this pin drop down. So here's full vacuum. As you lose vacuum and you get gain speed, it drops down, pushes your this pin open here on the jet, and uh, allows more fuel into the carburetor. So that's exactly how it works. Now, if for some reason this is stuck open, this is stuck down like that, frozen, it's going to allow fuel in there all the time. So if you're getting excess fuel at idle, that could be one of the problems. It doesn't happen very often, but it could be. Just want to point that out. All right, so uh, that's the power system. And like I say, uh, for other information on this Merc Carb, I have a rebuild video also. Uh, go to our website, mikescarb.com. Uh, you'll find a technical link there in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, you can uh, follow the links uh, to the Mercarb parts. We have a great kit. Uh, our one kit fits all the Mercarbs. And uh, we have a uh, brass float that uh, we sell for it. And uh, we used to have the nitrofill. We quit using them because they're uh, falling apart uh, under ethanol. So there you go. Thank you for watching.